Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to pass journal entries under the chapter Higher Purchase under the subject Innovative Financial Service. Now, we have already prepared uh, one video where we had learned how to solve the sum based on Higher Purchase. Now, what if uh, in the question they ask you to pass the journal entries? Then how to solve that particular sum? Okay, how to pass the journal entry? So I will be directly taking up a solution. Okay, and from that solution, how to get the journal entry? Basically, from the ledger account, how to pass the journal entry? That is what we are going to learn in this particular video. So, chalo, let us see how to pass journal entry for higher purchase sums. Okay, now let us see how to pass the journal entry from the question or from the problem based on higher purchase okay so now what here i have done is i have already created two ledger account so let's say if the ledger is of a limited whenever we prepare higher purchase we have to create two accounts one will be a machinery or the asset account and second one will be the higher vendors account so here i have already made up an uh, a, a solution where, where we have a machinery account and uh, a higher vendor account so once you all have asked to find, you know, pass the journal entry, then how you all will have to pass an entry? See, solving part we have already done. Okay, we have already taken up a video. I've already made a video how to solve the problems in order to get the machinery and vendor account. So now in this video, we are going to learn, see, suppose if the accounts are already there, you have already, suppose, suppose you have already solved and you got those ledger. How can you all convert this into journal entry or how can you pass a journal entry based on the ledgers? Okay, chalo. Always, see, the first step is always go date wise. Okay, we'll always go by date wise. So we'll have to check in both the see the first date. Uh, let's say from the machinery on first table, you're buying a machinery. Same year. So my entry see very simple. If it is from the left side, okay, when you're looking at the left accounts, the entry will always be machinery account debit to all these values. And when you're going from this side, it will always be the reverse part. So it will be debt account to machinery. Secondly, secondly, always remember the balance wherever you can see the word balance. Okay, all these balance balance can never have a journal entry balance can never have a journal entry so from machinery account what are the uh, entries which you can pass so first entry will be machinery to be limited where you're buying the machine after that balance 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 you can't pass any entry so the only other entry that you can pass from machinery account will be depreciation so there are four depreciation in four years and there is one where you have bought the machine in, in a higher vendors account, there will be machinery. See, so it's the same entry machinery to B, and from here it will be reverse. So it will be again machinery to B. So that's same entry, double entry cannot be passed. Okay, you cannot have a same entry being passed twice. Then there was interest here, and then there are banks account here. Remember, in higher purchase, the first year has down payment and installment, and thereafter, there will only be installment, 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 and interest, interest, interest. Okay, so see how you're going to solve how you're going to pass the entry. Okay, number one. On 1st April 2015, we have purchased a machinery. So my entry will be machinery account debit. First, always the asset. So it will be machinery account debit to B limited, who is a higher vendor. So to B limited account, the value is 2 lakh 80 thousand on both the sides. So 2 lakh 80, 2 lakh 80 being machinery purchase. Okay, that's my first entry. So I will pass a line through it so then you can easily distinguish it. So I'll just pass a line. So my first entry is done. Okay, after passing the first entry that you have purchased machinery. Now the rule will be down payment, installment, interest, debt. Just remember this down payment, installment, interest, debt, down payment, in installment, interest, debt. And one we have like a, a transfer entry. So now on this same date, we also did a down payment. You can see first April 15, so there is a down payment which has been created. So on the same date, first April 2015, it's going this way from left. So B limited to bank. So I'll have B limited account debit to bank. The amount is 80,000. So your narration will be being down payment made okay now 
everything now comes so first you first we have done uh, you purchase then the down payment so these are two fix always you will start with these two now it is all simple it will only be installment interest debt installment interest debt and transfer so basically now four entries of every year will be recorded so on 31st march 2015 okay you were charged with interest you paid the installment and there was a depreciation also so 31st march 15 uh, 2016 it will be okay so interest it will be interest to be limited interest account debit to be limited amount is 20000 20000 being interest charged on the same date we even made uh, the first installment so it will be b limited to bank so b limited account debit to bank account the value was 70000 so 70000 70000 being installment paid and on the same date there was also depreciation depreciation to machinery so it will be depreciation account debit to machinery account the amount was 28000 okay so remember these three these interest installment and machinery these accounts will these entries will repeat every year now okay the down payment is only at the start machinery purchase is also at the start rest only those four entries will keep repeating fourth may say one last entry always that will be after passing these three entries that is be interest installment and uh, debt will be a transfer entry which will be based the entry will be fixed pnl account debit to interest to depreciation this is basically you are transferring them so interest of the first year uh, interest charge was 28000 and the depreciation sorry interest was 20000 okay and depreciation was 28000 so the first amount which are transferred to pnl will be 48000 being amount transferred to pnl okay so like this is the first set okay this is like the first set of uh, first part of your uh, first year ka all the entries only two entries are extra in the first year which will be the down payment and you, you know I, i forgot to pass the narration okay here it will be being depreciation charged okay, so this is like my first year ka now remember these four entries will keep repeating interest installment depreciation and transfer so we just have to keep passing now this was for 2016 now we'll jump to 2017 okay now for 2017 okay so again the same order first we'll put the interest so it will be 31st march 2017 so my interest entry will be very simple it will be interest account debit to be limited so interest to be limited the amount was 15000 so i'll write here 15000 15000 same narration being interest charged okay so i'm not i'm not passing the narration now same 31st march 2017 uh, we are making the down payment uh, sorry we are making the second installment so it will be b limited account debit to bank your uh, 65000 each so 65000 65000 on the same day depreciation has been charged so it will be depreciation account debit to machinery the amount is again 28000 for the second year and three entries are done and one last one will be the transfer entry so same date it will be pnl account debit to interest to depreciation okay interest was 15000 depreciation was 28000 so 
so 15,000 plus 28,000, 43,000 will be our second amount transferred to PNL. Okay, so that is for the second year. Now, similarly, we will do it for the third and the fourth year. So these are the four entries will be that will keep repeating now. Okay, Chalo, we'll start with the third and the fourth year now. Okay, so uh, after passing those entries for the second year, I'm putting an extension here. Okay, we'll start with the third year ka now. So third year will be based on 2018. So again, 31st March 2018, it will be interest. So we are going to start with the interest part first. So it will be interest account debit to be limited. Third year ka interest was 10,000. So 10,000 on either side. On the same date, we are going to have installment. So it was B limited account to bank account. The third installment is of 60,000 each. So value I'll put it here 60,000, 60,000. Narrations are same. Okay. So you can note down the narration. 31st March 18 May there is going to be depreciation so it's depreciation account debit to machinery which is 28,000 again then on the same day one last entry you're going to transfer it everything to PNL so PNL account debit to interest to depreciation interest is 10,000 depreciation is 28,000 total is 38,000 okay so this was second last year that is 2018 now one more year is that 2019 ka Again, we will make into the same uh, four entries will be passed. So again, same order may 31st March 2019 first interest. So I'll write here interest account debit to be limited. The last year interest was uh, 5000. So I'll write here 5000. Okay, I passed the interest. Now the installment 31st March 2019. So it will be B limited account debit to bank. The last installment was of 55,000. So I've wrote it, I wrote it as 55. Same date pay, we have our depreciation. So it will be depreciation account debit. To machinery account okay again 28,000 so we pass the 28,000 last entry on 31st March 2019 PNL account debit to depre uh, to interest to depreciation okay so the amount of interest was 5,000 and depreciation was 28,000. So we have 28,000 plus 5,000 coming to 33,000. Okay, so with this, we were able to convert the ledger account of higher purchase into journal form. So only remember at the start, at the start, you will have purchase of asset and down payment. Rest after you'll have the same four types of entry. Okay, where we'll have interest charge installment depreciation pnl in interest installment depreciation pnl so it will just keep carry fine okay so i hope everyone have understood this okay so with that we were able to complete how to convert ledger account of higher purchase into journal entry okay so with that we will be ending this video here i hope everyone have understood thank you